Sinclair, Sinclair might have changed it. I don't know, but I do whatever Sinclair said. Um, you seem a lot more fluid running the ball now, but I don't know if that's just because you're getting more of a chance to run it now, or maybe you're, you're running behind the number one line now. Does it feel different out there because you're getting a chance more of a rhythm? Uh, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I, I do like I to get more of a rhythm than I did last year, obviously. And, uh, so that, I, mean, I think that helps a little bit with it. Yeah, I remember telling you tales about how he used to play football. Some of them, some of them know that he's a smaller guy when he's young, so he tells, yeah. he tells some stories. Said he wanted to play linebacker. That's what he said. I don't know. We'll see how true. I'd like to see him tackle me. <laughs> he actually told me once, and when he came back from the Olympics, he still wanted to play college. Yeah, he, he wanted to come here. He, he's always been a big Georgia fan, so he wanted to come here for a while. Yeah. Well, walk me through that first, that first long run you had, like sixty something yards. What was the play? I want to say it's uh, some kind of inside zone play, and uh, I just seen it open up, and I, I see how low like, oh, shoot, so I got I got to hit it. So uh, I saw I saw one defender, and I, I kind of broke the tackle, and then I sh probably should have cut back a little earlier, but uh, it's all good. We live and learn, <laughs> and uh, hopefully next week I'll be better. Well, what does it mean to have 100 yards by the second quarter today? I know uh, nobody in Georgia had done that yet this season. Uh, it, you know, it meant a lot, you know, because we always, you know, Georgia used to have 100 yards back, so I was glad to uh, kind of put those numbers up to show that uh, we're still running back you. It's exciting seeing everybody just get involved in the offense. Yes, it, it is. You know, like I was saying earlier, uh, we're so happy that Jeremiah had his big that day. But we all knew he could have that big day. We're just happy he got the opportunity because the ball gets spread around so much. So we're, we're so happy for him. How about Miko's performance today? Miko, baller. He said he said he wanted to return one day. That was a big emphasis on our uh, special teams unit. And uh, he said he was going to do it, and he didn't. Where, where was your father in his boxing career when you were young uh, in terms of how active was he at that point? I'm trying to remember your age differences. I'm 20. And... Uh, so he was a little older. He was in his prime, but right when I was really, really young. So he was kind of in his prime then. So uh, I got to see a little bit. I get to watch some old clips. How did that affect your relationship in terms of, I'm sure he was busy training and getting ready for fights and, and that kind of thing? Uh, no, he was, I mean, he's been, he's a great dad and uh, he's always showed support. He's at every game, so I appreciate that. But you know you were going to have a big game today going into the game, eight carries, 100 yards. You said that just means you were having a good day, but did you know you were going to have that kind of a day? Yeah, I expect to have a good day every time I come on the field. And uh, as, long as, I get my, as long as I get the opportunities, I think I always believe I have a good day myself. Jake Fromm said that um, Nicole's day today, that 70 yard that put the for a touchdown, it was long overdue. Would you describe it that way as well? Very long overdue. It was a big emphasis this, this week, and uh, he, he came through on it. Six different guys scored today. The offense, it just seems exactly. You see that reaction? It just seems like everybody who touches the ball gets into the end zone. That's a good problem to have. But at some point, do you think there will be favorite targets? Uh, like certain guys? Uh, I don't, we have so many good players, so many talented players that can do a lot of things. So it, it makes it kind of kind of hard to have a favorite target because all of them are so good. So uh, I think we're going to keep spreading the ball around, and it, and it seems to be working out pretty good so far. Let me ask you my last question: Just the SEC play starts back up next week. Do you like spreading it at the beginning of the season, just so you can get a little bit of a feel for what the team is like? Uh, yeah, it definitely does give you a little feel, and not too much. You kind of, kind of, kind of get to save your body a little bit when everybody else is getting touches as well. But SEC play, you know, and I, I think we're, I'm pretty sure we do the same thing: spread the ball around and uh, and make it work. You could, uh, so you get run down there on the seven yard line. Yeah. I, I, th I thought you were going to get it. I'm sure you thought you were going to get it all the way. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, uh, were you disappointed to get run down? Yeah, I was. I was very, very mad, <laughs> very mad. But uh, like I say, I learned from my mistakes, and it won't happen again. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, uh, were you running out of gas at that point a little bit? No, nah, I, 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 as I was running, I realized, I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it. I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it without him catching me from behind. So I tried to slow down and see maybe if I, if he would run past me or something. Yeah. And he, he, he did, and he kind of slowed down and caught my jersey. So, uh, like I said, I made a mistake and I won't have it again. What's it like to have a game like this, especially when you're the guy watching on and on the game? Yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I've had great games in front of my dad before, so he's he's kind of used to this type of stuff like in high school. So uh, he's happy that I'm getting my time and uh, get, finally get my opportunity. So he's real proud. Of me. You guys were obviously different kind of athletic arenas, but is there anything that he could have imparted to you? In terms of uh, well, I think from a young age he instilled that um, he was never the type of guy to make you do anything, but he showed you the way if you wanted to do it. And one one way he showed me that you always have to do is hard work. And he kind of taught me that at a young age, so ever since then I know if I really want something, I got to work hard at it. What was the takeaway today? Uh, it was an odd game because you guys had a lot of big plays like that. But Kirby, I heard him talking about the game, was kind of a lot of mistakes, yeah. a lot of penalties. And what, what, what was your takeaway as an offense today? Uh, yeah, we probably had our most undisciplined day uh, as far as penalties go. So uh, we look to clean that up more, and uh, we're, we're definitely fixing it. It's going to get fixed this week for sure. How do you feel first guy here? Coming back to the first 
Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, is there sort of any justification that people are going to be 100 yards and feel bad and say, hey, I waited my time and I got what I'm Oh, yes, I've always had uh, a lot of confidence in myself. Um, well, other people say it really doesn't affect me as much, but uh, I just had confidence in myself and I knew eventually my time was going to come and I'm glad it's here now. You never used yourself as a Oh, no, I block. I block. I ain't a fullback. <laughs> yeah, I block by all means. I block for Fromm and block for Justin, but I'm not a fullback. Well, you viewed this year as sort of your opportunity. Yeah, it's all of our opportunities. It opens up, it, the office is opened up, and I'm, I'm glad a lot of people are getting involved. What do you think of the way y'all are playing? What do you think of the way y'all are playing as a team? Uh, we're playing great ball right now. Like I said earlier, uh, we're very kind of undisciplined with the penalties today, and we'll clean that up. But all in all, we play with a lot of toughness and uh, we play fast, and we got a lot of good guys. Yeah, as far as penalties go, for sure. Uh, other things were pretty good, but uh, penalties was, was not weren't, weren't great today, for sure. Stanley when he uh, after he called his touchdown, it seemed like everybody was kind of hitting him in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stanley's uh, he's, he's long overdue for a touchdown, so we were, we were happy for him to see him get one. When's the last time you got a boxing ring, by the way? Last time? It's probably been a little while. No, I don't, I don't like to throw hands, though. Look. <laughs> Probably Justin, Justin running, because Justin always likes to talk about his running, so I was excited to see him get one. <laughs> Oh, you know, he, he gets hit and his helmet flies off, you know. Yeah. That's concerning, you know, the Well, he's that type of guy. We always tell him, slide, Justin, it's all right to slide. But he, he's one of those guys like to prove himself. So he's, he said he, he, he likes to say he can come in the running back room and play running back, too. So he likes to show us sometimes. Challenging to that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, he's worked a little bit at running back. Uh, we, we had some of the injuries like in the spring and stuff like that, so he's worked a little bit at running back. But we never know if, if we're going to get carries in the game or not. But uh, it's, it's cool to see him run. He, he has a sort of big body for a wide receiver, so he, uh, he kind of fits the mode a little bit. Another, another wide receiver that looked like a running back. Uh, Tyler's very fast, very fast, and a uh, very fluid runner. So it's, it's good to see him get one. If I could borrow your descriptive powers for a moment, how would you, how would you describe the, the hole in the middle on your long run? I mean, it looked like things just kind of opened up. Yeah, before. it opened up like the Red Sea. It, it, was a, it was a big hole, and I seen one guy kind of this way, one guy kind of this way. And I, and I ran and broke that first one, and I thought I could beat him on an angle, but it was kind of too late. I was like, I, I don't know. But uh, like I say, uh, caught me on the angle, and uh, hopefully it won't happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Which brings up the question of running behind this line. What, uh, what is that like? It's a blessing. It's a blessing. They uh, they open up stuff, and it's so big. If you miss it, you know what I'm saying? It's your fault. Yeah. So uh, I'm very I'm very blessed to run behind this big office line. Yeah. And apparently they enjoy doing this. 